All right, bro, so what are we getting done today? All right, so we get a nice little blowout on the sides. Like a light taper? You still want the C cup, right? Uh, Yeah, light taper. I want okay. Seat. No skin, not down to the skin. Not down to not down to the skin. Not you want like a shadow. Skin. Right. Okay. Uh, same in the back. Mm. Same thing in the back? Correct. So how do you want to line it up in the back then? Like rounded? rounded. Or? Yeah. Okay. And up down to what? One and a half? One and a half with the grain. Right. Okay. And then the beard. Um, yeah, we just line up with the beard. we we'll probably keep the same length there and probably like just clean up the bottom. Okay, cool. All right, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. YouTube, what's going on? We are back with another tutorial. We are going to do a one open with the grain following the hair growth pattern. I'm going to start off with combing his hair out and then we're going to use the wall cordless seniors. They have the Mac if the hands um, clear lid and power clip on, on them. And uh, again, we're just going with the grain. We're being very careful not to not to go against the grain or hit any type of tuft or cowlick or or, you know, odd hair growth pattern and i'm also paying attention to density right especially around the hairlines the neckline the front hairline you really have to gauge and see how that one open is going to affect the density because there is a way to make people's hairline look fuller um but if you just go with that one open like like you know without any regard to hair density you could end up potentially making you know lighter spots look lighter than others especially around the hairline area so you can see the hairline area right now I mean it almost matches that one open that we're using and we haven't even cut in that area so I grabbed this one and a half guard um, and I opened it up a bit and I'm just using that to go ahead and debulk the around the hairline area and then later on I can come back and kind of clean it up and and just make sure it looks good so like in the consultation he said he he wanted a light taper he didn't want it to be dark and he showed me a picture and I get it he just he doesn't want to bald um, fine cool so for me it's one of those things where I would rather still do it bald than just keep the C cup because a lot of times when I ask people you know why they want it why they don't want it bald it's because they want to keep that line up that c cup area most of the time you know i'll still bald it out and um and keep the c cup area dark but he showed me a picture that showed it was actually like there was hair there there was a lot of hair there there, there wasn't much gradients um or of a or, or like a faded look so cool i went with that photo and we stuck to it um and did the taper how I felt he wanted it. So we used the blade open, the half guard, now we're using the one open. And then we just kind of detailed in between each guideline. And I am going to fade in the beard just a bit. Nothing crazy. We're not, again, we're not balding it out. We're using the blade open. That's, that's it. the lowest we're going to go. Now, above that one and a half guard I use, I am going with the grain. I went down to a one closed. And especially around the temple area is where I'm running this one closed. Which is essentially like using a number two, right? So look, I'm starting off with a one guard because I could tell his neck area, you know, the density wasn't the same. But this one guard closed is looking like the blade open. If we would have went with the blade open, it would have been hard to give him a lineup in the back because it would have looked so low. You wouldn't have been able to see it. So we're going with the one closed, then the one open. Now we're using the one and a half guard, just like we did on the other on the on the side, and then we'll go like with our one guard closed to finish off the taper. Then we'll go back in detail. So we are dropping almost daily content, guys. You guys know I'm in Georgia. Um, I still haven't found a barbershop, but I've, there's been a lot of people who've reached out to be a potential model, but I haven't found a barbershop, so. 
Oh, so here I actually use the number two guard. And I think it's because, again, um, the density back here isn't equal to what it is on the sides. So I guess that was just kind of like playing it safe. Maybe that's what I was thinking. And uh, he's got a lot of different hair growth patterns here. Over here on the left side is growing to the left. On the other side is growing to the right with a calic. Um, so now, you know, detailing is definitely going to make a big, a, a big difference. Alright, so we're going to start this side, same steps guys, blade open, one open, then we'll use our number two, or number one with the grain closed, as seen here, and then that one and a half guard is what's going to blend um, that one guard with the grain into the one open we used previously, as you can see here. Man, usually, usually during this time, man, I got like a Christmas list. I got like a wish list. Like I want, I want certain products, but I, I could tell you, I really feel like throughout the year, I've really been invested in, 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 in my tools and stuff. So I, I pretty much, I got everything I want, man. Like the Dyson I got last year is still kicking strong. I don't need a blow dryer. You know, the clippers and trimmers I got, I love and, um, I don't see nothing I need this year that I haven't already gotten. Next year, I know some things will be coming out. Um, got the ecosystem. You already know the color, the, the bean team, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm good, man. My wish list this year was very slim when it comes to barbering. Um, let me know in the comments, man. What is, what is something that you're missing that, that you put on your wish list? So with his beard, he told me he wanted it natural. He wanted wanted me to keep it as high as possible. So I'm not gonna try to create the crispiest line. We're gonna let it grow in because you could tell that he was probably doing his beard on his own, and it's like it's it was very like um, uneven, I would say. But he has potential to let it grow out more. So I didn't do much. I'm not gonna do much on that beard. Focusing mostly on the C cup. Can you guys see in the C cup where there's kind of like a light spot right here? So where I just passed through, there's a light spot. And I think that most barbers would have would have dug in there and created, just to create a, a sharper C cup. But for me, I haven't cut his hair in a long time. And if he was to come back to me, I would want that spot to be grown in. So, and I know I'm gonna enhance the cut. So, you know, I just kept it natural. Obviously it's not as crispy as it could be on that C cup. But once that that spot grows back, man, it's gonna look it's gonna look great if we can maintain it. Good call or bad call? Let me know in the comments. All right, so here, this is important, guys. I saw some scarring around his neckline, probably from previous lineups, um, but he definitely had some scarring there. So what I decided to do was use that to be where I started that um, rounded lineup. This is this is the shape he wanted. He wanted a shadow taper, and he wanted it rounded in the back. So I incorporated that bit of scarring into the lineup as opposed to bringing it up. Um, and making it more of a rounded shape, I decided not to do that because, um, like you can see here, it just kind of went right into the line. And to me, you don't even notice that he has like a scarred line there. Let me know. Good call, bad call in the comments below. All right, so this part is where I start to freehand the areas where I use that one half guard open. And that's because it could be a little bit fuzzy because, you know, wavy texture. Soup, this is tight curly hair, right? So tight curly hair is going to curl up at a certain length and almost look fuzzy. So 
I wanted to keep it dark so I didn't cut it down all to a length but what I went ahead and did was freehand any of that fuzziness to uh you know to make it look kind of smooth so here around this hairline there's definitely some density differences so I'm using that one and a half guard to make the the middle of his hairline look a little bit lighter so that his corners don't look even lighter if that makes sense and then we'll go ahead and line them up get that thing crispy And we're, we're keeping it natural guys keep keeping the hairline natural it's a good cut it's gonna grow back nicely and honestly a client like this the, the next two times he comes in it's gonna look it's gonna it would the haircuts always gonna look better right so <clears throat> or it should look better because then I'm gonna be dealing with a canvas that I've been working with that you know a canvas um, the grow back is from a haircut I did right so it should grow back nicer and so when I go to line it up I got more to work with so we went ahead and put the shave gel on him 245 you can get at 245.com and using the triple cartridge razor here's another technique that I use um, I don't know if you saw me kind of freehanding with the razor that's another technique that I use to go ahead and get some of that fuzziness away from the hairline And again, keeping the beard natural. And you can see I'm using a lot of the heel and the head of the blade. So my man had family photos I found out um, during the cut so I'm like yo let's spice things up I'm going to use get beams techniques this is what I was talking about right here where I'm freehanding kind of hair with the razor just kind of hovering it and taking any of that hair that's kind of curling up just, just smoothing, smoothing it out But yeah, we're gonna use some of Get Beam's techniques that I've learned from him. And uh, I just thought it was perfect timing. He's got photos in the morning. Let's get it. And the color I'm using on him is brown black. I want it to look natural. Um, I, I, I didn't want to overdo the color, especially since he doesn't get color like that. Um, but what I did was I told him, look, let's do this color. If you don't like it, I'll use alcohol and I'll take it off. Okay. Um, if you do like it, we can keep it on. And if you want to keep it on as long as possible, when you wet your hair, rinse, do not scrub. Right. And then when you go to dry your hair, pat the towel, do not scrub. And it'll last you. I've had this color in my hair myself before for as much as five days. It's just really how you maintain it. Rinse, do not scrub. All right, and I, I typically always go back in detail once I enhance the cut. And now we're going to use this pencil, which beam actually bought this for me i believe i believe i took it from him we were at a hair show together we were working together at the hair show um he was doing his thing i was doing mine and uh he actually gave me the color pencil that he was using so i'm using it on him and i learned all this from beam right here found it up with the trimmer Yeah, and wifey was, she was sitting down in the waiting area. She was amazed. She's like, yo, your hairline has never looked this crispy. <laughs> so it was dope. And then after we do the trimmer all the way around, we'll follow it up with the razor and lock in that sharp line. There we 
we go. Remember what his hair looked like before he sat in the chair, y'all. Yeah. Remember. It was crazy. All right, let's go ahead and line up the bottom. I keep this in my video because some of you guys are kind of weird and like, and like the whole debulking stuff and the shaving part. So <laughs> I keep this part in for y'all. So this side of the beard, you could definitely tell, you know, it's just uneven. Maybe he was doing it himself in the past, um, but I, I, I truly feel like it can grow in and be fuller because he asked me to keep it as high as possible. So look at the before. My man needed needed a blessing, and here we go. He sat in the chair, and we did what we could for him. Y'all let me know what you think about the haircut in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and smash the like button, guys. Thank y'all for checking out another almost daily video.